What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. Today, I have a pretty interesting thing to talk about. We have two new Pokemon added to Scarlet and Violet via the free update that came out today. You can get these guys uh, via a five-star raid. Uh, they're available right now, obviously. I actually just went ahead and got these uh, right before I started recording this to get some B-roll footage. Uh, but these are some really interesting Pokemon. They're both Paradox forms. You got one past and one future form for Suicune and Virizion, respectively. But before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And that's my comment question of the day, which is, which one of these forms do you like better? Look, I'm not going to say you're wrong if you, you know, like the future Virizion. But I will say you're wrong if you like it more than this dude. Walking Wake is insane just the design the tools it has it's going to be cool we're going to get into that before we do you know i just want to say that i am going to be not only making like shorts about this but also i'm going to be making a full moveset guide tomorrow going in depth with each one of these pokemon and this video will be more a news video as well as going over general things you might want to consider with these pokemon as i have to do my research before making the moveset guide so yeah this is gonna be more of an overview of the pokemon and what their general role is as well as their cool gimmick so yeah let's get into this so, we have Walking Wake, and we have Iron Leaf. Like I said, they are Suicune and Virizion, respectively. They looked pretty different in the, like, pictures that we got from the Scarlet and Violet book. Uh, that being said, those pictures are never meant to be accurate representations of the Pokemon. If you want a good example, look at Iron Treads. It looks nothing like what it does in the Scarlet, or in the Violet book. So, yeah, uh, this guy's, like, just a straight-up lizard. Uh, but it is a Water and Dragon type, and its stats are already up on Showdown. Uh, it's a water dragon type it's got 99 hp 83 attack 91 defense 125 special attack 83 special defense and 109 speed so it's the faster of these two and 109 speed is actually oddly a little bit of a crowded speed tier this gen i, I not 109 specifically but like there are a decent number of pokemon near it so i feel like this pokemon is almost forced to run max speed especially if you're running the booster energy item so if we actually look pokemon near the 109 speed tier let's start off with like base 100s and up uh, Charizard isn't legal, but, uh, Palafin, Sandy Shocks, Garchomp, Iron Leaves, uh, Palmot, Espothra, Iron Treads, and Iron Jugulus. Honestly, if you get outsped by an Iron Jugulus, it's not the end of the world because it doesn't have dragon coverage and you're also decently bulky, but I would say that you still want to outspeed this thing, uh, if, if at least just to hit it with, like, a really strong move. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're training these guys. I'll definitely keep that in mind with the moveset guide video. But yeah, uh, it's a really like crowded speed tier this gen 125 special attack actually is like really good uh that 125 special attack will mean that i feel like i'm like speaking too fast that 125 special attack will mean that like even though you're not the strongest special attacker in the game you're still hitting around like hydragon tier like it's the same special attack as hydragon so if you were to go for a draco meteor with this pokemon it's going to be the exact same power you know unless you like go with like modest or a life orb on the hydragon uh, but it has a really interesting assortment of tools. You can see that it has access to the general dragon tools like Breaking Swipe, like Draco Meteor, um, like Dragon Breath or Dragon Rush, I suppose. But it also has like some really cool support tools. We have Snarl, we have uh, Noble Roar, which is not the like best move, but going past like Substitute for being a sound move is kind of cool. Snarl, I would say, is generally better. Um, but the one move that we really need to like take a look at here is actually going to be its signature move which is hydro steam now hydro steam i thought was just going to be a reskin scald when i heard about it but as it turns out it's like kind of it's not better but like for the niche that this thing fits in the game it is better in that it makes it a novelty uh so where scald would be a water move that has the chance to burn and has 80 base power uh this move has no chance to burn is, an, is a flat 80 base power, but it actually makes up for this weird thing with Protosynthesis where like it wants to be in the sun, but it's a water type and its main stab is water. By making it so Hydro Steam actually gains a 50% boost in power in sun as well as in rain. So that makes it so this Pokemon is like the ultimate anti-sun Pokemon. It doesn't matter. Like, I, or here's the thing. I was down bad for a minute trying to beat Torkoal teams. I was running Palafin Hero with a Utility Umbrella. And now, Game Freak just gave me the best version of that. <laughs> you can just straight up... 
like, Torkoal doesn't switch in on this. It just gets one shot because it's a 50% boost in power and you have the Protosynthesis boost. It allows you to double down on that. You're able to get the special attack boost from Timid Max Max, which, by the way, if you're actually at max speed, max special attack, you get the special attack boost because that's the priority as far as, like, which one, you know, gets higher. Uh, but if you, like, decrease it by one, 244 special attack, now you're speed boosting. Just so you know, that's how that works. So you can do the max max set and get the special attack boost in the sun and then KO a Torkoal. In restricted metagames, when this eventually gets to that point, this thing probably can just one-shot uh, Groudon. Actually, let's take a look at that. So let's see if we can actually, like, one-shot Groudon, right? So let's let's go with, um, what was its name? Walking Wake. It's already in the damage calc. Shout out to uh, Nimbasa City Post for keeping this updated. Let's, let's look at, like, Groudon, right? Groudon... Just max HP or special defense, right? Just like that sort of set. We give this thing a timid nature. We give it protosynthesis and we give it hydro steam. Now the sun is up, right? Sun is up. Hydro steam. Because of that sun boost. <laughs> this is insane. Because of that sun boost and the protosynthesis boost. Hold on, 252, yeah. It's doing 136% minimum to a Groudon. If you were to Assault Vest that bad boy, it still has a chance to KO. So you know what you do? You run Modest, you're outspeeding this guy anyways. That is a almost guaranteed one shot on Assault Vest Groudon in the sun. That is ridiculous. So now let's take a look at something more relevant. Torkoal, just like Charcoal Torkoal, right? Timid set, that's what you're gonna run. In the sun, Hydro Steam does nearly 200%. No switch to that. This thing can go tear a water and double down on this thing, right? You terastalize. Now, like, let, let's, let's, all right. So here's the thing, like, with other, like, Terra Pokemon or with other, um, future forms or past forms, actually, specifically, you want to, how do I say it? There's never been, like, a form, like Iron Moth, right? Iron Moth's like a fire type, but it's relegated to being... Uh, a future form because if it was a past form if we made like Slitherwing a pure fire type or have the fire type naturally that would mean that when it terras into a fire type its flare blitzes have an adaptability boost or now because it's not a fire type you know it's it's like just like a regular bug fighting type it has to terra into the fire type to gain stab on it so it's a 50 percent boost this thing because it's a water type in its water move gets a boost in sun, it's effectively like the same thing as if we had a fire type past form, which we don't. So it gets adaptability on its hydro steam. Torkoal, annihilated. Let's look at Fluttermane. Fluttermane is one that I'm really interested in. If you're facing off against a Fluttermane, which granted it is very strong in the sun, and you go for a hydro steam, and you're terastalized, and the sun is up, you are doing 103% to a Fluttermane which, mind you, is not weak to this move and has 135 base special defense. That is, and this is timid, right? This is timid. You can do, like, booster energy if you want to, like, guarantee you get this, but, like, I think you just run it with Torkoal. Like, low-key, this thing me this thing makes Sun Team stocks go way up. Way up. Because now, like, let's just build, like, a hypothetical Sun Team, right? Let's just, let's, let's just like, do this real quick. Like, this is going to be me just kind of riffing, so just bear with me. We got... Torkoal, we got Iron Hands, we need our Trick Room Setter, let's go with, uh, let's go with, like, Indeedee Female, nah, maybe not Indeedee Female, maybe not Indeedee Female, let's go with, like, a Ferrigoraf, right? Ferrigoraf, and, I don't know, what's, what's another good one? Just, Amoongus, like, this is just, like, a weird little, like, Trick Room Sun Team, right? Well, now, you can go ahead and slap on walking wake and you have a water type that doesn't care that the sun is up it can operate in whatever weather it needs to but hey now you might notice wh what if i want to run like a pelipper on this team all of a sudden you have like the perfect dual weather pokemon like that's a hypothetical obviously we need to workshop this team way more than like this garbage i threw on your screen but you see what i'm going with right it operates regardless of the weather so it can do both it can do both that's crazy right you can even just like get rid of that and just have like a, another like really strong Pokemon. I don't know. What's like a past form? Fluttermane, right? Now you have a fast and a slow version of the team. Cool, right? Awesome. It can do both. 
That's what I'm saying. So very interesting. We'll do an in-depth moveset guide on this guy tomorrow as soon as I figure out some cool cores for it. Uh, by the way, these guys aren't legal yet. They're not yet legal. You have to wait till like next season, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but Iron Leaves, the other one, and that's like the best thing I can say about it. It's the other one. Just kidding. It's actually pretty good, but I, I don't want to like give too much praises to it because I, I like Walking Wake so much more. But yeah, Iron Leaves, pretty great stat spread, 90 HP. Uh, 130 attack, 80, uh, 88 defense, uh, 70 special attack, 108 special defense, 104 speed. Um, before I get off track, this is a very fat Pokemon. You could run Assault Vest on this thing. Just want to point that out. Iron Leaves, same thing. Very fat Pokemon on the special side. I think it actually isn't that bad of an Assault Vest Pokemon, uh, but it will probably be a booster energy Pokemon because of its uh, ability to run like a set like this. Swords Dance, Leaf Blade, Psy Blade, and like Sacred Sword, probably instead of Close Combat, even though it gets Close Combat, because Sacred Sword allows it to match up into Dondozo a little bit better. So yeah, like this is actually really cool. You're able to get the speed boost from Quark Drive if you go with the, um, here, 182, you're going to decrease that speed, that special, or that attack down to uh, 170, uh, and just why not put it in like your HP, you know, now you're kind of fat. Now you have like a really decent attack stat, a really high speed stat. You're not outspeeding like every Pokemon, right? Mind you, you're still kind of losing the Iron Bundle uh, because of how this thing's built. Uh, but if it isn't running the speed booster set, then it's going to be perfectly fine. This thing, like I said, can also just run like Assault Vest and do that. But th this is the point, right? If you have a higher speed stat than your attack stat, you can get a speed boost turn one, Protect it with like a follow me or something like a let's say like you want to run next to Indeedee female. That's actually like not a bad partner for it. Indeedee female. With helping hand and um, follow me like that sort of set. You're able to get the speed boost in this guy. Set up a swords dance and do whatever you need to. Uh, yes, it's move Psyblade is boosted in, in uh, electric train. But keep in mind, it's also a psychic move. So it is boosted in Psychic Train as well. It has both at its disposal. So Ndidi actually isn't a bad partner for it. Um, I think it, this Pokemon would be a lot better if it had access to Trick Room, which it doesn't. Uh, I think that I'd actually break it a little bit. But yeah, uh, if it had access to Trick Room, it'd be pretty terrifying. It does have a lot of like the really useful tools that you would want out of a fast physical attacker. Taunt is actually ironically one of those things. It does have priority in Quick Attack. Has some decent coverage with Night Slash, Mega Horn, um... Psychic moves, grass moves, dark moves, you know, those sort of things. Oh, wide guard, not wide guard. Uh, wild charge is like also in its move set. Smart strike. Yeah, it has a lot of things at its disposal. Quash is kind of interesting, actually. Uh, that's a really cool niche for it. You could run it as like a really fast Quash user, similar to what like Murkrow would typically do if it wasn't running Haze. Like you can throw Quash on the set, probably drop Swords Dance in that case and just give it like close combat or Sacred Sword. And now you're a threatening physical attacker that can deal massive damage. But also, if like there is a Pokemon that outspeeds like a partner Fluttermane, let's say a non-speed booster max speed iron bundle with like a focus sash, but you know your Fluttermane's like in danger of getting KO'd, you can outspeed it with your speed booster iron leaves, quash it, and then KO it with the Fluttermane partner. I don't know why you wouldn't just KO it with, you know, the iron leaves, but that's a hypothetical. You see what I mean? Uh the one thing I really don't like about this guy is they gave this dude ally switch. And I know I'm going to face it. I know for a fact I'm going to face it because that's the sort of dude that can run like whatever moveset it kind of wants. Like it can fit a lot of niches. Um, and I thought we were doing good. I thought the ally switch distribution was like perfect this gen. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Pokemon that you ever see with it. Uh, and now there's now there's a ninth one, which I just I just don't like. I don't like that. Like, I know this thing's going to be popping off on ladder for the first few days. And I'm going to have to face an, an ally switch uh, variant of it. So not happy with that. But yeah, um, that's the general like gist of these dudes. They have exclusive moves that allow them to operate in multiple conditions, whether it be psychic or electric terrain or sun and rain, which is absurd. I'm definitely going to be building like some kind of like dual weather team with this guy. But yeah, uh, tomorrow we'll be going over some in-depth moveset guides for them. So if you guys want to, you know, stick around for that, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, and comment down below your thoughts on these guys. I think that if we're going to rate them like as far as how good they're going to be, as far as what's popular, I don't think they're going to change too much, but I do think that like they're going to make like the water Pokemon is going to make a lot of uh, sun teams more viable. And as far as the iron leaves, uh, I don't know what it's going to do specifically. I think it's going to be decent into iron bundle if you're on like an assault vest set. Um, 
and it's going to have some cool utility with like ally switch and quash and stuff but uh, i think it's going to be more of a niche pick where the other one might be spammed on ladder for a few more weeks than this one so yeah if you guys enjoy leave a like subscribe do whatever i'll see you in the next video bye